Guys, in this video, we will learn how to log in with email or username with Laravel UI. So let's get started with the example. So I already downloaded fresh Laravel application and also set up the database configuration. You can see here and it's also running the okay let me go and yeah let me run the migration over here so i will say php artisan migrate okay and you can see that that is already fresh laravel and with the username okay and i also installed the laravel ui with the login so let me run the applications php artisan cell and here i will say login and register so i already installed the laravel ui so if you don't know how to install that with the bootstrap then you can follow my uh, video so you can see that authenticated with the bootstrap file so now what we need to do so if i go here into the registration page i will add username column over here okay so what i will do first i will go to the migration user migration and i will add one column that's called username with the unique okay simply save it and let me run it again the migration so i will say php artisan migrate refresh okay so it will refresh the migration and if i go here and if i go to the users table there is a username added over here okay so now what we need to do if i go here into the model and i will say simply call username and simply save it okay and now what i will do simply go to the registration page okay let me run it again the project so let me clear it and php artisan sir okay and i will say refresh okay here i will be add username also over here okay so if i go here <coughs> and register and i will simply copy it and i will simply say username okay and instead of email i will use username column okay and type will be the text okay simply save it okay and if i refresh it you can see that username column over added here and now what i need to do if i go to the controller user controller in that controller i need to add validation for it so i will say username okay and i will use the email validation okay next what i will do i will simply add over here like call username and then i will say user name simply save it okay and now let me register with that okay so i will say hardik then i will say savani hd and i will say savani hd at the red gmail.com and let me set it the password for it so i will say two three four five six seven eight and click on registration it registration successfully let me go here and refresh it you can see that there is with the username that successfully register okay now what i need to do simply log out okay and now we need to allow users to log in with email or username so what I need to do simply go here into the login blade and I will add over here slash user name. So user can add email with the username and I will change email into the login. Okay. And type will be the text and here also let me change it to login. Okay. So it's a common name. It's not email. Okay. So save it. Okay. And now what I need to do. <clears throat> so if i go here into the login okay login controller there is an authenticated user straight are already so there is a username method okay so we need to just uh, we, like overwrite that so i will overwrite the username method so i will say username okay by default it returns the column name like this way return email okay that means by default email column will be tagged so what i need to do first i need to do login underscore type and check filter underscore where and i will use request and then i will say input and i will get login and i will check filter underscore validate underscore email okay that will check if this is email then it will be written email column otherwise it's return user name okay simply save it okay and here what i will do simply request and i will simply merge okay into the merge i will simply call new key login type and that value should be i will simply copy this okay and paste it that means we are also going to add login type with the value of the login okay and simply 
return the login type okay simply save it okay and now let me try it okay so if i refresh it okay and i will use the username so one hd and there should be one two three four five six seven eight nine and click on login you can see that i am also able to log in with the username let me try with the email now okay let me log out and click on login so i will simply say savani hd and there will be a one two three four five six seven eight and nine click on login you can see that i am able to log in with the email as well so i hope guys how easily you can do it like lo login with the email or username okay so i hope guys you understand this video and if you like my video then please subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching guys